Something I really enjoy about being an investment manager is that no two days are the same. My newest client is Mr. Dubois, who recently came into a large inheritance from an uncle who owned a commercial real estate business in Paris, France, and needs help managing his greatly increased net worth. I met with Mr. Dubois virtually to establish his new client profile, which is the first step in the portfolio construction process. By exploring his current lifestyle, current expenses, current assets, and anticipated future expenses, we discussed education needs for potential future children, savings for retirement and healthcare, travel, and so on. Some of this was exciting because he now had the ability to envision a potentially different lifestyle and retirement than he had imagined in the past. We also discussed his short and long-term investment goals. I walked him through a questionnaire to better understand his appetite for risk and we determined that it was high. All of this information really helped me to better understand his goals and needs and equip me for the next step of the process. After my meeting with Mr. Dubois, I began my investment analysis by identifying some asset classes that would fit well with his long-term goals, constraints and risk tolerance. Because it is his family's business, Mr. Dubois has an interest in real estate investing. Real estate is not my area of expertise, so I pulled in our research analyst in alternative assets, Dominique, to help me. I identified a long-term benchmark we could use to assess the allocation of assets for Mr. Dubois' portfolio. Dominique evaluated current pricing in individual markets, and we agreed on some adjustments to the long-term benchmark and asset mix to reflect current pricing and expected returns. I used all the details I gleaned from my initial conversation with Mr. Dubois, my research, and my work with Dominique to construct Mr. Dubois's portfolio. Because of the connection with the family business, real estate features as a sizable share of his portfolio, and given his relative youth and high-risk appetite, there is also a sizable portion of equities and crypto assets. I rounded out his portfolio with bonds and cash for diversification purposes. In my virtual meeting with Mr. Dubois, I could tell he was initially overwhelmed with the responsibility of safeguarding his inheritance, and it felt good to be able to calm his fears. We're meeting again next quarter, to assess the portfolio's performance and make any changes in light of any new circumstances that may arise.